Did they go to the right any any further? Oh yeah. So all these link clicks and all the the cost per result, right? So then when when you look at the dashboard here, what you also want to do is is look at the Kartra dashboard as well, just to kind of see if the numbers right. resemble each other. Um, yes. At all. So. So this this one here is the. So where where I think the weak link is right now is the landing the, the video that they're taken to after they fill out the form mm -hmm. that video was not really ever designed to be the first video they see uh you know when they come to a page the actual video ad that you watched it has kind of the green you know they got the plants growing in the ground the music and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and that's the one you said man I, i'd buy it right now that 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 was the one that was really designed to be on our main landing page, but I ran that as the ad because it is the catch here. So I'm thinking that the, the video that the people see, which is this one, they're not even getting past, you know, right here after two minutes, you get a huge drop off and it's a 20 minute video. So it, it, he wasn't really, that, that video was not shot in mind with, Hey, this is like a sales video. It was more of just mm -hmm. a, a kind of a little, giving you a look inside. So I think we need mm -hmm. to reshoot a video mm -hmm. that, that grabs people's attention or what we do is we put, uh, we put this video that you watched, which is this one, which you, that's the, that's the four and a half minute one that really got you excited. Maybe we put that back on the page that they view after they give us information and we put up some other uh, little ad that little promo video that he shot that would get people to that page as far as the video ad. That's, that's what I was thinking because okay. obviously they're getting to the ad. Am I right? I mean, they're clicking on, yeah, they're opting in, right? They're they're opting in. So let's let's look at the well. You got the cost per result, so that's how much it's costing per right four sixty five per per opt in, and see that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So as you as you look at this, you got to look at these numbers and be like, okay, the third one I spent two eighty two to get a lead. These other ones four sixty five. I would have shut that one off right away. Um. And then even at even at 423, I would have shut off right away. Now it's it's based on the cost result, but then it's also based on the result. So um, as far as the sell, so let's like for example, if if I was paying 465 per lead, but I made more sales, you got to look at that way as well. So that 2022, those are those those were the actual opt-ins, right? So so those so you should have 20, 42, 42, and and 33. It was 75 and then and then that 20 what is that 28 where, where are you what are you looking at here? i'm looking at results the 20 22 33 28 yeah and so you get 103 right yeah yeah so let, let's look at your car real quick click on the the my sequences or my communications and then let's look at the list real <clears throat> real quick yeah we, i don't think we've gotten anything yet in what do you mean I don't think we've gotten one sale as a result of this. Yeah, no, ad. not one sale, but the opt-ins. So where's yeah, that list that. at? Um, sprouting with Steve. We're looking for just the opt-in page. No, the list. Like, where? What list are they going on to when they opt in? Where's what list was it? You have so many lists. I don't even know which one's which. Yeah. I think it was that it was that SWS opt-in form with 10 top reasons. Yes. That, that's the list. You got 99 people on that list. So those are all leads. Those are all people who opted in. Those are all people who are on the true and false right now. That's why it's so important to clear out these lists. Whichever list you're not using, like get rid of them because it, it just becomes clutter. These are all people that are in the sequence. Did we reset that list? I don't know if you reset it, but I don't think you had 99 before. Yeah. Did you not see this part? 
Well, I, what do you mean? Like this list? I, Did I, you not come and take a look at the list? Like, no. Like your, yeah, dude, there's, there's, there's 99 leads right there. So these people are all on the true and false. All it, like right. if you hover over the number one on sequence, hover over it. Okay, hang on, I gotta go back to it. So that, right where it says sequence, it says number one, hover over the number one, the other one, the sequence. Yeah, hover over that one. So they're all in that four day. They're all in the true and false. Now, what you're seeing in the graph is you're seeing, yeah, most of them are dropping off and not watching the full thing. So yeah, you yeah. got damn near 99 leads all on the false side, probably. You know, all on the false yeah. side, getting people within the four day period to get back to watch the video. That's why those emails are so important because that's okay. where you'll, you'll see a lot of your back end revenue coming from those, those sequence, that email, that sequence. But at the same time, right. yeah, up front, that message needs to be clear. Whether it's that Facebook video ad, that video needs to be clear. And then when they opt in and they're watching that presentation, that presentation needs to be clear. And to tell you the uh, truth, Pastor, that, that's where I'm stuck at personally. Like I'm going to be very transparent with you. Like in my case with my business, my webinar, so you go to my landing page, you opt in. I could be, I'm very clear with my Facebook ad. Like very, very clear. My videos, very, very clear on my messaging, my audience, very, very clear. But when you go to my landing page and then you opt in to watch the presentation, that's what I've yet to fully complete is my presentation. Because that video, when they opt in, that video has to be super clear, man. Not as far as clarity. I'm talking about a freaking as far as, you know, get to the point. Like what the hell are you selling? Like what is, you know? Yeah. And, and, that, and that's why, yeah, that four minute one, although it's super short, um, maybe that might be your home run hitter. Maybe taking them to that four minute one because that video, that's where I'm stuck on, stuck at in my business where I'm trying to master this dang presentation, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and that's, that's, that's the, the one video that I've yet to complete because I want it to be so clear. So when they watch it, because my, in my case, my video is going to be long. My video is going to be anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes. And, yeah. and when you're selling high ticket, and not, not necessarily high ticket, but a thousand dollar product. Mine's, you know, nine, nine, seven. That's kind of the magic number is you want to be anywhere from 60 to, to anywhere from an hour to three hours of a presentation. Like there's mm. science behind that. Um, so mine has to be a little longer and that's what I'm stuck on is completing my presentation video because that's so freaking important. Um, so dang, dude, here on the bright so side, what, what, what should I, what should I do that presentation okay, video go ahead. On, the, on, on the bright side? Okay. So I'm just wondering which, which one of these should I turn off and whatever is high, shut off the highest ones. So for example, okay, you so got, how do I shut them off? Do I just click this blue button over here? Yeah. Let's look at them real quick. So again, 20 leads came in and you paid 465 per, per, per lead. 22 leads came in, you paid 423 per. And then you got 33 leads at 282. That's the one that's on fire. So yeah, you would shut off the first two. So uh, toggle the blue to, the, to gray, that one. And then the second one. Okay, so now, now let's, let's, okay, so let's, okay, so now we're at the 282 and the 332. Okay, perfect. Now, now that one turned off. Did that one turn off automatically? I don't know if I clicked that. That's fine. That needs to be off anyways. That was the higher one. Well, okay, or one now of the higher why ones. did these, these are on. They want, yeah, those they just moved off. up. They just shifted up. That's all. But I wonder how that other one, yeah, turned off without you even touching it. It turned off while you turned off the other one. So, so should I go ahead and turn it off? No, 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 no. Those ones need to stay on. So if I were you, I'd, I'd leave those two on. You got okay. 28 leads at 332 per. You got 33 leads at 282. So, so if anything, you can turn off. If anything, you can turn off. It just depends on your budget, man. That's really what it comes down to. In, in this yeah, case. Well, I we're, we're looking at, we're looking at um, the cost per lead and how many leads came in. You know, if you're looking at four and you want to just, just have one out of four. Okay. Well then there's your one, the 33 leads at 282. If you don't mind spending a little bit more 3.32 per lead, then you would leave on the second one. But if you don't want to spend that, then yeah, turn that one off and just write on the first one. So write no. one out of four. If, if 
if I was to ride one out of four right now, I'm spending a hundred bucks a day still, right? So no, 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 no. You'd be spending, you'd be spending, you'd be spending 25 a day. Okay. So remember, it was only a hundred a day because we went 24 times four or 25 times four. But as we shut off the other three, we let that one ride at 25 a day until okay. you recoup that's your money on those yeah. other three. Okay, that's what I'd like to do. So right now, looking at this, I've just got the one going in the home and garden, mm -hmm. which Perfect. was running at 22. Good, man. So, so, so that's, then, that's a good audience. So then what I'm going to do with my partner is I, I'm going to... Oh, sorry, I got to go tell my daughter... To, no, no worries. She's watering the. No, take can your you time. hear me all right? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Okay, I'll just leave you going. She's filling up a pool for my dog, and it makes a lot of rattle inside the walls where the pipes yeah, are. Yeah. No, you're good. So, what I'm going to do with with uh, with this then is I'm going to ride this one. I'm going to work with my partner. We're going to. Um. So if I wanted to change this uh, ad from a dip from a different video ad, is that real complicated to do? No, you don't want to change anything right here. So if anything, you let this one ride until you until you until you until you don't want it to ride anymore. What I would do is I would, if you're getting that many leads, that that's good. I mean, thirty three leads at two point eight two per lead we need one we need we need i mean you spent 372 already i mean you need four cells and yeah. so with with those numbers those are decent numbers anything above five dollars per lead is is good but when you're looking at four dollars and 23 cents when you're looking at 465 versus two others that are lower and then you're looking at one that's the lowest then obviously you 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 accommodate and you you make your adjustments but at the same time it's like you can still let it run. You can you can let it run until you until you pop a cell. And knowing that your back end is where the problem is, I think it's that video. They're opting in. They're not watching that full video. It's that video is not catching their attention for some reason. And that that right there looks like it's your it's your it's your it's your issue. It's not the Facebook ad because right. look how many people opted in. You know, hundred people opt in. So it's not the Facebook ad. The Facebook ad is for definitely grabbing the attention. The yeah. landing page I is converting. They're getting to the landing page. They're actually willing to opt in, but then we're losing them on the presentation page. Yeah. So that video so, needs to be more, either more compelling. It needs to be more basic or more, more understanding. You know, it, it just needs to resonate more to that lead. Yeah. That's it's just, it's a video. The video starts out slow because he's not, it's almost like uh, he's, he, it's almost like a video that he, shot for people who have already looked at everything and so it's not a mm -hmm, and i think mm -hmm. he'll if he watches it and if he see if i tell him look this is what's the first thing people see he's going to say yeah we need to spice that up yeah yeah for sure and then that could be a video that you're that you're sending on the back end that could be a video in one of your email sequences yeah that could be well, an this, email on the truth side yeah. yeah you know that could be a video on the truth side but yeah, it's this presentation video that that I'm even stuck on in my business, um, just making sure that that presentation video is 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 right. Um, but right there, man, that that's something to at least get fired up about. Yeah, you spent a few hundred, but dang, man, it worked. Like your ads are are kicking ass right now. It's just that presentation that needs to be tweaked. If if yeah. I looked at this and saw five leads, I'd have been like, dang it. But then at the same time, I kind of, I still wouldn't have been dang it. I still wouldn't have said that because I know everything is set up right on the ads. At that point, if only five people opted in, okay, then something's wrong with our actual ad. But it's like, dang, a hundred people actually liked your video. A hundred people actually gave up their name and email. You know what I mean? Like now it's time to yeah. adjust that presentation video to get some conversions. But again, even yeah. when you look at those numbers, okay, 372, do a little adjusting get that conversion up. It's four cells, man. Yeah. That's why I love digital products. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Once you take this to 497, 
then you could play around with all these ads and play around with all these different variations. And at that point, it's like, dang, you need one cell. You know, like the, yeah. what I'm trying to say is the profit margin. It doesn't take that many. And, and, and yeah. what you're seeing here is good data. This is good data to know that that audience is the one that popped to know how to create these multiple ad sets to see which one is your winner out of four. That's gold right there. Now you'll just do the same thing with video ad number two. You'll go do the same thing, maybe put in that same audience and retarget all those people. And then, and then maybe create four different audiences or three other different audiences. Now you have a whole new four, four sets of ads ready to go for week number two. It's all about, it's all about testing different audiences. And then once you get this pixel enough data, then you create what Facebook calls lookalike audiences, which that'll be our next call. But that's when you take your custom audiences, people that are actually landing on your landing page, people who are actually opting in and landing on your presentation page, people who are actually landing on your order complete page. These are custom audiences. The pixel is on each page. It's now a custom audience. I'm retargeting these people or I'm excluding them from future ads because they already registered, they already purchased, whatever. But these custom yeah. audiences, after I would say after after running running ads for a consistent four, five, six weeks, these custom audiences will start building up. And then what you'll do is you'll turn around and create a lookalike audience and you'll tell Facebook, okay, 500 people opted into this page in the last 30 days, which is your presentation page, which is these 99 people right here. You'll tell Facebook, hey, 500 people, not 99, 500 people opted in. I want to create a lookalike audience. So now Facebook will start finding you people like that who you're not targeting. You're targeting people in a specific audience. There's so many other people that Facebook knows that would resonate with your stuff that you're not targeting in that specific audience. So you create right. a lookalike audience. You create a lookalike right. audience around those who registered. And then you just start running ads to your lookalike audiences. And that's like, that's when you scale. That's when there's an unlimited amount of people to talk to, to, to go after because Facebook right. shows you, Facebook shows ends up showing the ad to so many more people that you're not even, you're not even thinking of, but they're relevant and they're, they're lookalike. They're quote unquote, lookalike. They're lookalike people when compared to your registered people, when, okay. when you compare it to the presentation people, SWS presentation, they're lookalike. They, they're, they look just like that when it comes to their profile and, and their, their, their online habits. And Facebook has that data. So, so the best of the best, the best of the best continue to retarget those who are watching their stuff, retarget those who are landing on their pages, and then create lookalike audiences around those custom audiences. That's how everyone wins on, that's how you scale. So, don't so think you have to know, let me say this one last part. Don't say you don't think you have to know all these different audiences you do in the beginning. So, so as I'm showing you four ad sets and then I just got done telling you, okay, in your next ad, create four more ad sets. Don't think you're going to have to do that all the time. You're going to have to do that in the beginning. Like, let's just call it the first couple months. You're going to have to know these different audiences, find these different audiences. So the pixel can start getting data. So we can get that pixel as much relevant data as possible. So Facebook can start knowing who your ideal client is. Right. Once we do that and spend a few hundred bucks, let's even call it a thousand over the next month or two, two months, three months. You put a thousand at it, you get this pixel, all this data. And then after that, you turn on lookalike audiences and you only target. So now that we're in the ad set, we would only watch scroll, scroll down, scroll down 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 so right here so so right in the custom audiences click in the box right there what you would start doing let's call this month number three month number three what you would start doing is you would only start you would only run ads to your lookalike audiences and those lookalike audiences the way you can kind of look at it are clones they're clones of your custom audiences who are your custom audiences those who registered also, those who have purchased, those are your custom audiences. A lookalike audience is a clone of those. So after a couple months of running ads, you then get into a position where you're only running lookalike audiences. You're only retargeting your lookalike audiences and letting Facebook do all the heavy lifting. That's when you scale. 
And that's when you have, that's when you can get away with having to think of all these damn audiences and who the heck do I target and all this stuff. You have to do this in the very beginning. So Facebook can know who you're looking for. And then after that, you look alike it, you look alike the custom audience and scale. So this, what I'm in right now, you had, you had tasked me with uh, creating a couple of custom conversions mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a couple cu custom audiences. I think I did the custom audiences right. And I was just in this step right here, setting up the custom conversion to mm -hmm. be checkout. You, you want to check out and purchases. Yeah. And see that, that's so, where you would, that's where you would, you would um, test as well. So it's, it's either we're going to do a custom conversion on the presentation and the purchases and the add to cart. But that, that comes later. That comes later in, in more testing. That comes later. At, okay. and at, at the same time, you want that pixel to, to read who's even landing on those pages. You need some cells, first of all. You need some cells. Like, let's get some cells first. Right now, all you're going to do is conversion, and, and we're, quote, unquote, optimizing for presentation. That's all, all you're going to do right now for a few weeks is, is okay. optimize and run ads for the presentation okay. to get people so to register. That means we need to get that. I need to get that work on that presentation video. Yeah. Maybe put it. So, so the one that you have now, cause I didn't, I didn't watch anything. So the one that you have now, what, which one is that? Is that not the four minute one? Well, the, the four minute one that we really spent some time on is that the video in the ad itself. That's the Facebook ad. Okay. So, so that, yeah, that's going to be I'll different than the presentation. Yeah, so the, the presentation ad or video is this one right here, which um, really was not designed, like I said, to be a, capt a, a captivating video. It was more of an inf informational uh, video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hi there, I wanna thank you for coming this far. And I wanna tell you a little bit more, actually quite a bit about the actual course itself. Uh, as we all know, when a person gets married, um, they need to get to know the person uh, first before they say, I do, because I do is a big commitment. And, and when you buy anything major, like a car or whatever it is, uh, you do your homework before you pull the trigger and purchase what you're gonna buy. And obviously it's the same thing with this video course sprouting with Steve. So I'm gonna take you inside and show you around and show you what will actually happen and what you'll get and the value you'll get uh, if you pull the trigger and join my course. So uh, what's gonna happen is as soon as you click buy and you sign up and you put in your credit card information, uh, you will then receive uh, very quickly an email which will give you login information to a yeah see this is this is a sequence email or a sequence video that's not that's not that's not a cold target a cold ad bring someone here for the first time and they're hearing that so there's your your drop in the ball yeah so that that was evident now on we have another landing page you can close that one out close out the red one This is, this was our original landing page. Landing page or presentation page? Presentation page. Yeah. So you got the landing page and the thank you page. Thank yeah. you page is where your video's at, your sales, your sales video. Hey, this is, this is, this was the original uh, sales page. So people would, uh, this would be before we did Facebook, when someone entered sproutingwithsteve.com. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Steve. Let me tell you about sprouting. Many people today are deeply concerned about this is the health video the that it's, it's actually environmental pollution, deadly toxins, and the rise of killer diseases are alarming. Seriously, if we. And this is the ad too, right? 
this is the, so this is the video that we used in the ad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but this used to be the video that it would was what people would first see before we got you know, I I didn't have a squeeze page or a landing mm -hmm, page. Mm -hmm. I just took them straight to this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so they would watch that, then they would scroll down and learn more about the course, the benefits of sprouting. Mm -hmm. read some testimonials mm -hmm. there's a testimonial video uh right here of, of someone who bought the course popular online physician talking about you know the, the benefits to sprouting media coverage talking about you know the need to build the immune system with sprouting mm -hmm. then another mm -hmm. uh video here this video here i actually ha have in one of the sequences right so this video that's is in a in a sequence. This is a short video talking about as you can see it is a beautiful winter day in North Idaho. We just got a nice snow last night and my garden is behind that building and it's completely under snow. Nothing's growing but guess what? Uh, I do have things growing right here inside this kitchen and these are called microgreens. We have sunflower microgreens that are growing. And the next trick. So I guess some buffering, but this is a two minute video. Raised peas. And then we have buckwheat. See, that's good stuff, man. Good that's stuff. really good stuff. Crop of wheatgrass. And this is a tray of. No, it's buffering. My internet's really slow, but. It's right. And I switch over to him. We'll let it play here. And we just planted another tray. Of kohlrabi and amaranth that will be starting soon. And probably the best part of this little little video here is the finished product. Take a look at. Dude, I'm telling you, once you get your once you get your messaging down, which I, which I don't even think it's the messaging. I don't I don't think I'm using the right word. Once you get that video presentation part down, the rest is history, man. Because you have a phenomenal product. Like it, it, it's we just have to portray that in that presentation. Yeah. That that that's the most important. And and so anything about, and everything else goes in the sequence. What what about using a shorter video like this that gets people to click and then they come to this video right here which is the one that gives it's the most salesy it's i mean after watching this people are we use our health we lose they're ready to buy everything. including the joy of living i mean almost but, How's mm -hmm. your health? so what can we do to flood our bodies with super nutrition strengthen our immune systems slow down the aging process and fight cancer all without spending a fortune the answer is simple we can grow fully organic, super healthy, live vegetable sprouts and microgreens in our own kitchens, laundry rooms, and even our own bath. So anyway, it's kind of, I got my internet buffering right now, but so I'm not sure if I should put this video back on the presentation page and go with a shorter video, like, you know, like one of these where, you know, we're showing people in the kitchen well, you're going to show them one video. Like they're going to see the ad and then they're going to opt in to one video. Right. Now, everything so that falls below, that's, that's fine. But the actual presentation, you just got to figure out what that video is going to be, that one video. Well, like I said, this, this was the one that we shot with that in mind. So when people come to our page, they see this video. He mm -hmm. talks about. That's the know, video then. That, that's the video. That's the one that does the selling. Yeah. So should this be on the presentation page, the thank you page? Yeah. And, and, yes. and change. And so we need to change the videos around, which in this, in this ad, the video that we're using is the ad that we're thinking of, you know, putting on the, the presentation page. Okay. So, I, so would, I would just simply grab a, another video and use that as the video ad. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, but at the same time, it looks like people are digging that video. They're clicking, they're opting in. Showing them the video again is not necessarily a bad idea. I would test it. I would test, I'd get that video right now and throw it on that landing page right now and connect it right now as that, li as that ad is live. Like do so, it right so, now. So, so go back. Okay, Where's that so video? Here, so this is the page here mm -hmm. that we currently, is our current uh, presentation page. Okay, we need to switch out this video and put that other one. I would I would do that in the meantime while you're thinking of your next your next yeah see yeah see this right here yeah I'm already seeing course I'm already seeing modules like yeah that's not the video go ahead and switch it out real now, quick man now should I have this video down towards the bottom of the page like I used to and no. I used to have it right I, well here. you can you can you can like all that stuff below is just added that's just icing on the cake that main video, because I'm not going to see this drop down until a few minutes in anyways, like three minutes in, okay, then everything drops. But what's going to keep my attention and what's going to make the most sense right now while you have my, my attention for just a few seconds? Well, it, would that necessarily be the same video that you just watched on why, Facebook? Why today? not? I mean, why not? Now, again, you're, it's, not, it's not like you're going to be running that same one all the time. The whole strategy right, is to run different time. Facebook ads. But, but right now... I would throw it there right now and I would change that headline. Here's a sneak peek at the course. It's not a sneak peek. Um, and I'm not even mentioning course just yet. So well, I would put a different if headline. The, if that's the case, why don't we make this the landing page? Uh, let me go. So this is what I call the original landing page, which mm -hmm. would be the original presentation page. And because this one doesn't, it this one has the regular video on it, which would be the same video as in the ad. It's it's that's the thumbnail for it, and the title is "Hi, I'm Steve. Let me tell you about sprouting." Okay, then this button right here skips them down the page mm -hmm. to where they can watch that video um the sneak peek one that we were that we currently have as the presentation one mm -hmm. where he actually mm -hmm. kind of walks them through so that is at the bottom down here so they do get to see if they're looking on this page and they, they want to know more about the course they can watch this 20 minute video about it but it's not up here at the top I, you know what? I wouldn't even put it there. I wouldn't put it there. I would let that be. I would. I would put that video in email number two on the true on the true side. Okay. So hey, Ron, just wanted to follow up. Here's a quick video I shot. Here's a sneak peek at the course. Like I'd send that a couple of days later. Um, mm -hmm. On this front page, you don't want my attention going anywhere else. Like that's why a lot of times it's it's just when there's multiple videos. That's fine. And here's the thing when the videos and testimonies and credibility and, and doctors and other people talking about stuff, stuff, that stuff matters when you, when you have, when you're, when you're, when you're at a high ticket and high tickets, not necessarily high ticket, but when you're selling anything from 500 and up, then show me some testimonies, send maybe show me some more credibility, but at 97 bucks, man, that one video will sell me. I don't need to read any of this other crap. Now, I don't think that's just my opinion. I think that's real fact. I really do. I truly believe that. I don't need to read any of that stuff. Put all that stuff in the sequence on the true side. Not right here. Um, now, again, that's me. If that price was $9.97, then, okay, let me read some more. Let me digest this stuff. This guy's asking for 1000 bucks. Let me see some credibility and some more social proof. But at $97, man, he does a heck of a job on that four-minute video selling me, click the button and buy now. There's nothing else to watch. Yeah. That's just how I see it. Yeah. You know, right here, you're just giving me too much. And, and that's another, play, another reason why you'll lose me is because I'll, I'll end up scrolling down and, and reading everything else. And before you know it, dinner's freaking ready and I got to go. So underneath here, I used to have a the, all that buy now and everything was right underneath that video and then they could mm -hmm. scroll down 
that one right. red button takes me to the checkout page. Okay. Well, here's here's what I'll do then. I'm going to change the the presentation page to be this. Well, the one we were just looking at or something similar where you're watching that same video again. There is right underneath the video, they do have the option to go right to the checkout. And they'll know mm -hmm. the price, the discount code, all of that. Mm -hmm. Then I'll leave the other stuff there. If they want to browse down through it, that's fine. Um, and then I'll put that internal presentation video inside a follow-up email on the true side. Yeah, for sure. I would, I would do that for sure. But again, I'm telling you, man, instead of take a look inside my video course, I would say click here to purchase now. Right. So I will change that. I'll put the buy now button, the price. It'll look similar to this. It'll look similar to that button, but it'll have a little bit more underneath as far as the discount code, how yes, much they'll get yeah. off. They click now. Mm -hmm. and, and remember, you can always clone, you know, clone it, clone it and use that, use that clone. That way you still have this one intact and you don't got to change anything. You just clone for the next one and play around with that new clone. Okay. But, but I, yeah, trust me, man, this, this stuff, I, I learned this stuff from the best of the best, man. And, and, and I've been through so many funnels myself where I purchased low ticket, low ticket digital courses, a $47 course, a $37 course, a $60 course, a $97 course, and 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 there's there's not there's not much to it, man. But that presentation, that video needs to sell me. And then one button is all it takes. I click that one button, I go check out. That's it. Any other information? If I did not do that, any other information would come via email, and that's the follow up. Yeah. You know. So it's just about locking down this video. So when they register, they're watching this one. That's that's yeah, that, that, that that's what I see clearly okay you know okay well let me, so that's what i'll do i'll I'll switch around that presentation mm -hmm. page and, mm -hmm. and i'll put the other the the inside the course i'll put in an email mm -hmm. you know, follow mm -hmm. up um i'm running one ad now yes and, that and one when, and, but, and, and when what I, I would do too man without going another minute i would switch out that video right away like whatever, whoever's, cause look, that 34th lead is about to come in any second now. When no, they I'm, opt I'm gonna, in, where are they going? Yeah, no, right? they'll, they'll, it, I'll, I'll switch it out right away. Yeah, switch that out right away. And then in the meantime, work on, work on the rest of the page, but at least they're opting in to see that new video. Okay. Okay. Well, so, that's, I, that's, I feel urgency to do that right away. Um, I've got, you. Yeah, scheduled in a couple of days so let's let's look at these numbers again let's do it after man. we after we change things around and we'll see maybe if uh you know people mm -hmm. are sticking around or opting in and i am i am getting my own emails so i know that that's all flowing good so how did uh, you not know all those leads came in did you not receive an email notification well new, I, lead, I, new I, lead new lead new lead new lead no, uh, Okay. I see the, I see here, you know, that we're reaching people and we're getting res. I didn't know exactly what res. I mean, the results are that we reached our. Yeah. Uh, the, people here. I just didn't, wasn't clear on what that actually meant. The, the results. And that's why setting up this, this dashboard, the way I, the way I wanted you to set it up. But I think the first time we looked at it, we didn't, it wasn't the Facebook wasn't, there was a hiccup and we'll do it again right now real quick because that's, that's super important. But um, those results, the way that's being tracked, those are people who land on your thank you page, who land on the presentation page, because that's right. what we're optimizing for. We're optimizing for SD, SDC or whatever it is, SWS presentation. Yeah. So those are people who landed on the presentation page. That's a result. Yeah. But then also the way I want you to set it up is where you can read it under what you titled on titled it under so for example click on performances let's see if we can get through this part now because i think the first time it wasn't allowing us to click on um right there at the top where it says columns performance there's a drop down at the very top right yeah right there columns performance and then go down to customize columns 
Okay, let's see if yours is. And then click on custom conversions to the left, right there on custom conversions. Perfect, perfect. Okay, cool. So let's clear some of this crap out. The stuff to the right, we don't need a lot of that stuff. Let's X out, um, go ahead and X out quality ranking. You don't need that, you don't need that right now. Quality ranking, X that out. Engagement ranking, right? X that out. Conversion rate ranking, X that out. Um, um, even even results, because we, we, we have our own results. Our results is gonna be SWS presentation. So when I look at my dashboard, I don't wanna see results, because I'm gonna be questioning what the heck is results, just like you did. What we're gonna see rather than results is we're gonna see SWS presentation. So that's gonna, that's gonna, that's, that's results. That's gonna tell us how many people actually exactly. landed on that page. Yeah, X out of that, okay. out of results. And then edit, last, last significant edit, get rid of that. And then um, link clicks, three second, get rid of the three second video plays. For, we, don't, we don't care about that. I, I don't care about that. Video percentage watch, I mean, Videos, videos, average play time. I guess you can keep that. Yeah, I'd I like, you can I'd keep like that. to compare that with the Kartra. Well, that's not, that's not, no, that's your Facebook ad. So that's the video. Okay. How many, what's the percentage watched? I, that's a good metric. Um, but at the same time, I'm, I don't even care about that. I care about how many people opted in. But at the same time, if that percentage is low, but, then but obviously, if, you know. Yeah, I, I like to know, you know, with that four minute video, I'm, I'm thinking they watch, you know, it's a captivating video mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For, for people interested in sprouting. So yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, what about bid strategy? You can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, and I guess you can leave the rest for now. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to right here in the middle SWS presentation, click on total, check the box total, and then check on cost the box for cost. Okay, perfect. So now those are to the right. So scroll to the bo bottom, the right on the right hand side, the right column, very, very right. And then just drag those up, drag, drag both of those up. Oh, gotcha. Okay. okay, so now let's name it. Save as preset. Go ahead and save it to the bottom left. Okay, so go ahead and title it something. Okay, so now what you'll be able to do is you'll always be able to refer back to this to look at to look at um, to look at it from this side. So now look, as I come into my page into my dashboard, I can see how many people opt into the presentation right there. So that's how many people that those are your leads and then yeah. costs per lead 283. So it's the same, same metric. It's just my actual title of what I named it. So I can know what the heck it is. You know what I mean? So why is this check over here on the left? You can uncheck that. that, uncheck that box. Yeah. So you're fine. And then, so and then says active. what's that? This one here still says active. I'm not sure. Go ahead and check highlight. on that box. Check on that box. And then click on, let's just check the other tabs. And I think it is because we haven't, we need to review and publish that blue button at the top, but let's check on the, let's click on the tab real quick. The third tab adds for one ad set. Click on that real quick. Okay, perfect. And then <laughs> click on the first, bless you. Click on the first tab campaigns. The tab, yeah, the, there we go. Okay, cool. So, you're good on this. So just go ahead and um, hit the blue button at the top right, review and publish that number. Yeah, click on that blue one. Let's look at this real quick. Okay, so cancel and then just hit discard drafts. Cancel and then discard drafts at the top. Discard drafts. Okay, discard. Okay, perfect. So we should, you sh it should be cleared out now. So click on the ad sets. And if not, it's okay. It's okay because it's not. It's not active. Check the box and see if you can just move it to gray again. No. Yeah, that one. It's shaded, so it shouldn't. It shouldn't be on. Well, it's locked. The others don't. This, show okay, locked. hover over it. Hover over it. What does it say? This ad, this can't, ad be can't be used while changes are being applied to it. Okay, that's fine. 
that's fine. So, um, so it's the home and garden one that you're, so just check this in a couple hours, check this and, and let the changes, let, let whatever Facebook's doing in the background play out and then come back and see if that lock is there and then just turn it off again, because this is the only place you need to shut it off. You don't need to shut it off in the campaign tab or the ads tab. It's an ad set. So all it has to do is be shaded to gray right here. There should be only one blue and that's that top one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so at, at, that's not a bad cost per lead 282. It's not, it's not bad. Now you can, for sure, I would use that as your benchmark. So we improve from this point on, we improve on the 282. We need, we need leads at $2. We need leads at a dollar. We need leads at 75 cents cost per result, right? That's the lead, the cost per lead, the mm -hmm. cost per presentation in this case now. So this right here, I would bookmark this page. And um and 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 be able to come back to it right. fast right away. Yeah, I I it's bookmarked. And I I've come back to it. Okay, and then so now anytime go back to the columns custom that drop down again, to the right. Columns custom. So all you do in the in any any you know future time you'll just come down and you know click on cancel. You should just be able to see um, click on it again custom column custom. Scroll to the very very bottom. Yeah. So you're in the um, right there, SD, SWS presentation. So now you'll be able to just check that right there and you'll see, you'll be able to see this view at all times. Okay. Okay. I don't think you have this part, this, this bookmarked. That star would be blue in the top right. Like hit the star. Yeah. See now, now it's, and be specific too. title that title that, you know, SWS presentation ads manager, you know, something very specific. So, um, you know, one, one specific person that I learned from, um, $5 per, per lead and lower is, is where you want to be shooting for, from almost, it almost doesn't depend on, it doesn't even depend on the, on the cost, on the price of what your product is. Anything below five dollars per lead, you know, you're 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 in there, and you're at two and two point eight two. So again, the whole goal is to get that lower. And how how do we get that lower? From the it looks like your landing page is converting. The landing page brought in a hundred leads, man. It's that presentation page that hasn't converted just yet. We haven't made a sell, so that's different. So the landing page is converting. The presentation page is not. The video is converting. The presentation page is not. So your video right. is doing great. Your ad is doing great. Your landing page is doing great. And you could yeah. tell clearly right there, 103 we leads. Get, we got to get that, that other, the presentation page converting. Get the presentation page converting and, and, and just make sure that those sequences, man, those emails, make sure those, those emails are, are, are in order. Because that's where you're going to win a lot, of, a lot is on that back end. A lot of those videos that are on that landing page, I truly believe every single one of them needs to be taken off and put in the, in the sequence on the true side. That's just what I, my opinion. There doesn't need to be anything below this page right here. That red button is all I should see. Check out. At this price point, especially at this price point, I educated you enough on the Facebook video ad, and that's why we want a video every week, a new one going out every week, because I want to continue to educate. I want to continue to retarget these people who are watching my videos. That's one custom audience. And then I want to continue to retarget all those who are landing on my landing page. That's another custom audience. And then I want to retarget all those who actually opted in to watch the presentation but haven't purchased. I want to retarget all those, and I want to retarget all those with a new Facebook ad. So a lot of the education is up front in the video. So the, by the time I get in the video ad, so by the time I get here, all I need to do is see one video of Steve and I'm in. If I do need to see any more credibility, it should be in the email sequence. When you're selling a lower ticket, in my opinion. So you're so, thinking a lot of this stuff here would, would, would just go in the follow-up. All of it, man. Yeah, all of it in the follow-up sequence. Heck yeah, those make great, those are great emails right there. So what, now on the checkout page, mm -hmm. well, no, let's see. A lot of times before you get to the checkout page, 
like with your checkout page, you know how you gave your all your values? Mm -hmm. Those I aren't those normally like on the sales page? No. As opposed to well, well, they can be. They can be when you're when you're selling something high ticket. In my opinion, they mm -hmm. can be. They can be on the sales page below the video. Show me more, especially when you're asking for five hundred bucks. Yeah. But it's like, dude, this is such a, that I just believe, uh, and again, I, I guess I'm, I'm giving you my perspective from a marketer and also from a consumer. My okay. consumer perspective, I got my consumer hat on now. I'm looking at this video and I'm freaking sold, man. I, I'm in, I'm into all that health stuff. I'm in. So it doesn't take much convincing in my opinion. It doesn't. I don't need to see five other videos. If you want to slow me down, okay, great. Show me five more now before I even make a purchase and before you better hurry, hurry up I do it before I do it. You better hurry up and hope I do it before my freaking wife comes. You know, it's mm. like, get me to buy now on, on this. It doesn't take more, much more convincing. That's my opinion from a consumer. And then from a marketer standpoint, same thing. All so that other saying, stuff is not necessary. So, so put this video, so they're seeing the same video twice, but here now they have the call to action to buy. Yes. To get them right to the checkout yeah. page. Now they're only seeing the same video twice in this specific case. When right, you roll right, out the next right, video right, right. ad, it's no more seen it twice. Yeah. Right? They're only that, that's why I'm wondering what if what if we took like this this is a really good two minute video here. Well, what if we put that in the video ad so that Heck when yeah. they come to this when they come here, now they're just watching yeah. this. Yeah, but but yeah, yeah, yes, but in each video ad, and you want to just make note of this. This has to be like you got to do that. You got to know this like the back of your hand for for the actual video ad. There's always a call to action. So at the end of the video, it's always, "Hey guys," and click learn more. We put together an amazing presentation that's going to go over the ins and outs of what we're providing and what this is all about. Click learn more where you can register and watch our next presentation coming up. So something like that has to be at the end of the video. That's the call to action. If that video down there below is just a video and there's no call to action, then I guess so, you can run it, but you'd have to put a lot of that in the text. Click so learn more, you know, all that. So here's how, it, let's just watch the rest of it. This is one minute, 31 seconds left. This is a full, beautiful tray of buckwheat lettuce. So if you've never had buckwheat lettuce, I tell you, you, you don't know what you're missing. It's so good in a salad, along with some avocados, some lemons, some nutritional yeast, uh, a little bit of tomato, and my name is Steve, and I just... He has a call to action here. I just don't remember what it was exactly. Just showing you a little window into an online video course that I'm teaching called Sprouting with Steve. It's quite a journey. We have a Facebook page where you'll, you can ask questions, and uh, there's just a lot involved in this. It's very simple. Once you know what to do, our motto is you can do this and I'm teaching people how to sprout, how to grow microgreens in soil uh, and then also without soil. Hydroponically as part of this course, if you'd like to be doing this, and you'd like to come and join us, just check out our website, Sprouting with Steve. Com, and you can learn all about it. And then I hope that uh, you'll be. It'll so work, man. It'll work. It'll work. That, so that could be an ad right there. Part of this training. And believe me, it will bless your body putting live food, superfood, into every cell of you. Uh, there's hardly anything you can do that will be better for your health. So I hope we'll see you at SproutingWithSteve.com.
So click below for more information. So if that was a yeah, Facebook yeah, yeah. ad, that, that could it's work. already in the video. That, that could work. That could work. So how, how hard is it to change the video in this ad that's currently running? You're, you're not going to change it. You're going to just run another ad. You just run another ad to that yeah. same. Yeah. It, it, either you turn this one off or you, or, yeah, it, yeah. You would turn this one off and, and just start that next ad. But, but right now, man, I'm telling you, see, look, 34 just hit. You were just at 33 right now, 34. You, sh you, sh you just got another registrant registrant. Yeah. That video on that thank you page needs to change, like needs to be changed, like like this second. So Just switch out the video. I, I, I can I can change it. I guess my question is, is it would it be worth turning this off and and putting that other video on the front end so they're not seeing the same video twice? Yes and no. How long has this been running? This this actual ad right here. Since we started now? on the sixth. Okay, so it's so been four days. Okay. Yeah. See four, dude, in four days, you got 103 leads. Like that's insane. That's really good. Especially going to a, a cold market. So the way I'm trying to answer your question is the fact that I don't see anything wrong with this one right now. Okay. It's that presentation that needs to be changed right away. And, and okay. as you run it for the next three days, because you're going seven days, as you run it for the next three days, then you can kind of micromanage it and, and make your adjustments from there. If no one has bought by then, then okay, there's our seven day run. Now let's run this next video for the next seven days and let's do it the right way this time. So, so you can shut it off if you want, but at the same time, I think it's doing, the, I think it's doing its job. What's not there is the presentation. Which if, if we just upload this video, the, the presentation page will just be a rerun of the, of the video ad is, is what we're talking about without all the stuff below it, which I can incorporate into the follow-up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here it would just be the click the, for the discount code. Yes, the man. 14 day free trial. Let that run for the next three days, man. Finish out your seven day period. Okay. Let that run for the next three days. With, with, with just going with the basic call to action after this video here yep. on the presentation page. Yep. And that skip, button that says click here to buy now. Skip all this stuff. You can leave it, but I'm just saying it's not, it's not, I think it's not necessary. I think it's not necessary. The video sells me enough and it's only $97. And I know $97 is, it's, I know it's, um, it might be a lot to some and it's not a lot to others or whatever, vice versa. It's all relative, a number, but at the same time, digital courses, people will buy $97 all day. It doesn't yeah. take much convincing, especially when it comes to something like that. Like something like that, all the proof yeah. is in that one video. This guy's showing me everything. You know, so it's and, like. And you're going to see all the other stuff in the next couple of days with the follow up. Heck yeah. That's where I build even more rapport and, and they hit you with my left, right. Yeah. uppercut now, you know now and remind me the true the, the the separating factor for the true is if they watch this whole video not necessarily the whole video you can determine you know what that we gotta we gotta change that true false if we put this video there because this video is only four minutes and 23 seconds compared to that 20 minute and i think our true started at 18 minutes yeah so then you have to change out the tag um so you would just go to the video. See, so, so is that video on Kartra? Yeah. Okay. So you just have to go to the video, <clears throat> create a tag. So this is, this is the video right here. Zero tags. Yeah. So you just create a tag and then, um, you create a tag by editing it. Yeah, edit. So tag leads. I, I'm pretty sure you can create it from here. Yeah, new tag. I'm pretty sure you can create it from here. Um, yeah, create new tag right there to the right. So yeah, you could do it from here. 
but at the same time, it's the same, it's the same tag. You should already have that tag, right? You already have that tag. We have to just change. We're just changing. We're just going to, we're going to just add it here, change the minutes and remove the tag from that other video. So you already have the tag. You don't have to create a new one. So go back, hit cancel. Hit cancel. Yeah. Cancel. And then, and then go back, click on. Um, so right here, click on, click on new tag. And then um, right here, you're going to go um, at time through this video. Okay. And then um, go ahead and put whatever, put three minutes or it was a four minute video. Yeah. It's four, four thirty three. Yeah, tag it, tag it, tag it, maybe tag it at four minutes. Okay. And then there goes that tag. So go find that tag. There's the tag. And then remove the tag from the other video. Well, so we need to. So, and then you gotta retitle it. That's all. So go ahead and choose that one. Okay, add and then save and then go to the other video. Let's actually, let's hit the green button down here, publish. Okay, so now go to the other video and remove the tag. And then we'll go into tags and we'll rename it. So go ahead and remove this one, X that one out. No, you'll exit out. Okay, publish video. And then um, what you'll do is you'll just go to my communications, go to tags, and then just simply um, rename, rename it. This one here. Okay, cool. Got that. Got that. Okay, you're good. And then edit. So this tag expires. No, okay. you can leave that. Yeah, that's fine. So now you got to go back to that thank you page, that presentation page, and just switch out that video. Right. So, so that's going to be that's going to be on. Uh, it's going to take me a little bit. Yeah, so take care of that part okay. and then let that ad run, man. Let that ad run for the next three days. Let's chat when that ad is over. Okay. And let, let's, let's analyze the numbers from there. And then again, whatever, whatever, that's what you always need to be thinking is that next video. What's the next ad? Yeah. That's the only thing you need to be, you need to be in communication with Steve about, man, to tell you the truth. I don't know how you guys have your business set up, but it looks like you're the Karcher guy and the ad guy. So yeah. all this part, he doesn't need, if I, if it was me, Steve, you don't worry about none of this stuff, bro. Your only focus is to give me a new video every week. That is yeah. it. Forget about this part. Don't talk about numbers with me. You'll see the sales coming in. Just focus on that one video per week because that's where you're going to drop the ball. That's where most people drop the ball is they're not consistent with that weekly ad. They're not consistent with fresh content. And in this case, it's not just content, it's a freaking ad. I need a video for an ad, right? So, so that's where most drop the ball. It, 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 it's staying consistent. And so from this point on, make sure that every video that Steve does, hey guys, and by the way, we put together a presentation. If you click learn more, you can register and take a look at everything we got going on, blah, blah, blah. Like however yeah. you wanna spin that at the last 10 seconds of every video. There's a call yeah. to action to click learn more to watch what we got going on. I, yeah, I the, last two, the last two videos I shot, I, he actually, I had him end it with the, the click learn more now. Perfect. 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 Good. Keep it up. Keep yeah. it up. Okay. So should I, I have scheduled Wednesday and, and Friday. Should we cancel Wednesday and just let this run till Friday? Yes. Let's chat Friday. But you want to go in there on Wednesday and cancel that then? I'll take care of it. On my end and I'll just, it, so our next one will be Friday at four then. Perfect. Sounds good, boss. Okay. Let this run, man. Sounds good. Everything looks right. good, man. You're right there. You are right there. We'll chat Friday. What's that? We'll chat Friday. 
Yeah, we'll chat Friday. So cancel me for Wednesday then. Okay, sounds good, boss. Talk All to right, you. All right, thanks, David. Yes, sir. Right, bye. Bye. -bye.